coming. The Panthers are coming. It is impossible to predict where any hydraulic fracturing event will wind up. So for the industry to say it's a well-controlled process is nonsense. They can't know for sure. They can never predict where that fluid that they put down there is going, how much of it's going to come back, and where the fluid is down there is eventually going to wind up. Anybody who tells you that is not obeying the laws of physics. Golly, carnation, that's a gift. Grammy, you heard what I said. You shan't be making that snake oil. I ain't making snake oil. I'm just collecting it. We've been collecting it for since we settled this land. Besides, it makes good liniment for my rheumatiz. Carnation, look at that little fowler over there coming up over the hog. This business shares a page of concerns, including environmental impact, environmental cleanup, fatalities, blowouts, explosions. They share that with their investors so that they know what they're getting into, because I guess they have to. But the landowner is never told any of that. There might be a Christmas tree. You'll never know we were here. And that's what everybody thinks until they have all the leases signed up. Then, ba-boom, you see the, you're in awe of the parade coming down your road, this equipment. You never imagine the first wave that comes in to clear cut. The machine up on the hill with this, looks like a giant insect, something out of a Mad Max with big claws, and he pulls a tree and throws it like it's a stick. And you watch this and you think, oh my God, what is happening? And then a year later, you have 27 wells. And then the following year, you have 62. Wow. And you're reeling because all you were told was there might be a well out here. Now, how can that be legal? This is the United States of America. How can that be accepted as, oh, it's just the way they operate? A senator's office told me that. This is historically how the gas industry operates. And I said to them, historically, we had children, la children laboring. Historically, right. we had women couldn't vote. It's time you rein in the beast and fix a wrong. Hey, kids, it's Santa from the North Pole. Hydrofac is a naughty word. Please keep our world clean and fresh. Thank you, and we'll see you in December. Bye-bye. It's in the lemonade. Here yeah. it is. In right. the lemonade. No. We did have one guy, the first day this thing happened, somebody, I won't mention names or anything like that, he says, oh, what's wrong with that water? And he took a glass and drank it. <laughs> one glass we, and we, we, we found it. out. We found out he, he didn't, you know, he... Wish he didn't do it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was kind of stupid to drink something like that. You know? well, All right. Yeah. Well, that was a, that was an IQ test. Yeah, it was. And he flew that one. Up. <laughs> there are some trucks. Um, it was either last summer or the summer before. I can't even remember now. That they had filled with probably waste, uh, like fracking water, that they were pouring onto the road, and there was a big brush, and it, it was like they were washing a dirt road for pretty much no reason. And I guess it was for dust control, but it just made the road really slippery. And my little sister, Leanna, likes to ride her bike a lot. Mm -hmm. And she would slip and wreck because the road would be really slimy and there right. would be a lot of foam, sort right. of that kind of thing. I guess by recycling, they mean dumped on your road. 